Howdy y'all, it's time for some San Diego gi Giants, San Diego Padres, San Francisco, the it's the Battle of the Sands, why not? In San Francisco, tonight game two of this four game weekend set between the San Diego Padres and the San Francisco Giants. Yeah, let's go Giants, Giants. we beat them in the last game. We are like four games up to you on the Diamondbacks in our division. We are just killing it of late. That being said, the Diamondbacks have been playing well, so it's... We're four games up on them, but we're, we've not run away with things. Well, Matt, he's coming off his 10th win of the season, and you start getting that number 10, you start breaking out of that single digits, you start feeling good about yourself. I think he's at that point now where... I hope Tim Lin succumbed felt better about... or good about himself before he had 10 wins. You're a special passing. Look at that, Tug Dick, 71 stolen bases on the year. Out of the first two outs. Come on, Posey and Jay, neither of you got on? Fuck it, I'm swinging for the fences. Maybe I need to be doing more of that. He was sitting on that fastball. You can't tell me he wasn't. First pitch fastball and he turned on it like that? Nice job. Sometimes it pays not to be patient. It depends on the situation. In dating life, it probably pays to be patient. But whatever. That's not what Dick's talking about now. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Tapper up the line. Reined in. And the throw just does. Oh, I thought he was going to have it. I thought he was going to be safe. Oh, wow. We got a stat. So striding forward now. Ray Man, he's hitting 331. He's got to be the pod. Yeah, he is the Padres' better best hitter. Because remember, a number of episodes ago, we pointed him out hitting over 300. And he was hitting like number seven in the lineup. Yeah, you go back to first, son. Tug Dick, one for one, hitting a strong 375. Bottom of the third, nobody on, two outs. Into the windup and the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. Bottom of inning number three. What's with that pitch? You're a little scared of throwing me something good after what happened last time? Oh, sh fuck your Vulcan change. You, you see it coming down the middle, and like, oh, he's got two fastballs. It's like, maybe I'm going to get to murder something. You fooled me with your devil lies. He held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss. Go, 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 go. Benedict. Finds it, but the throw is late. How did we not outrun that? That catcher played that perfectly. He had eyes in the back of his head. I can't believe we got thrown out there. Look how wild that was. Oh, wait, we didn't get thrown out. There we go. That's some tug dick magic. Striking out and getting on base. And a dive, but he's back. I want that second base. The dick needs the base. Come on, why are you even trying? Everybody knows your catcher's got a weak arm. Successfully, but you have to wonder now if that might actually end up taking the bat out of the hands of one of their better hitters. Why would that take the bat out of Hunter Pence? Worst case scenario, they walk him and Brandon Belt, who's got like the fifth or sixth RBIs now in the league, comes up to bat. What are you looking at, son? Place the other way. And a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Pitch outside the throw. Not nearly in time as he. That's another two bases. Seven. Ricky Henderson, I'm coming for you, and not in a pervy way. He said, "Here comes the one-one," and that one stayed too low, apparently. No score. I wish we only had one out because Hunter Pence is really good at getting some wood on the ball. Saws him off his bat blew up. She just got dollar store bats. Oh well, still a tied ball game after three. Look at that guy in his fancy moves. He's like, oh man, I lost the groove. I get just clap. So striding in, Stephen Houston. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Stephen Houston. Top of the fourth, one out. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Skied in the air to Come on, Tug Dick, you got this. Dick I hope you got this. Under this one. And Whee. that's out number two. Oh, look, he's sad. We've crushed his dreams. Delightful. Ready Doug Dick, one for two. Tug Dick. He's one for two in the ball game. Tug Dick. All right, we got runners on the corners. No outs. Last time he was in a situation like this, he tried to bunt, and it was all fail. Fuck it, we're going to hit this. And I should have let that go, but I was like, right I can side. make contact with that. But she's going to get mad. <laughs> oh, well. Get a second. The oh, there's not here. enough. Never mind. <laughs> All right, this at bat has not started so hot. I got to be honest. You might have figured it out. Ready with the 0-2. Swing and a miss as he oh, that was a bad at bat all around. Sorry, guys. Tied ball game, top of the seventh. Our team as a whole, our bats have kind of cooled off. Goes down to get this thing as this is lifted in the air to straightaway left. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. Now batting, Stephen Houston. And he's hitting only 238. Hopefully that means he's going to crap out. Last time we caught him, we made him sad. See if we can do it again. Top of the eighth tie ball game. Ty Dick is like, I bring the sadness to you. Eighth and nine inning, guys. It all boils down to whose bullpen is better. Dick is right there. And very well, if it's a battle of the bullpens, our bullpen is decent, and our closer is outstanding this year. So... Tug Dick, one for three. So stepping in. Tied ball game, bottom of the eighth. He's got a new pitcher on the mound, at least new to him. On its way. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Right here, he's looking to get himself into a good hitter's count so he can take a rip and maybe give his team the lead. He certainly has the power. Now, we need to get something going. Here comes the 1 0. Come on, get over his head. Perfect. Pull it in. He's through first and hustling for second. Around second now and headed for third. And he will Triple. I didn't know if we were pushing too much for three, but luckily it was a bad kind of throw to the cutoff man. So he's used to this. He rounded first, eyeing the ball, and he knew he was going for three. And Tug Dick was going for three the whole way. Under Pence 0 for 3. He's having a rough game. He's only hitting 267? Wow. That has dropped dramatically. I gotta say, though, he's still good at making contact. Only one out. Hunter Pence just hit it on the ground or a deep pop fly, and we get the lead. Not going on that one. At home plate. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Pitcher, I'm in your mind. <laughs> Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Why are you well, thinking so much of Hello Kitty? <laughs> It's like, I'm not thinking of Hello Kitty. You are now. You've been Tug Dick mind fucked. It's like, Tug Dick, shut up. <laughs> Tug Dick's like, no, you shut up. That's how Tug Dick thinks he wins an argument. Which, oddly enough, probably makes him a lot like me. Awkward. 2 1 count. One out still. Bottom of the eighth. Let's get that run in. Tug Dick represents the go-ahead run. Looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. The nice thing is if they do walk Hunter Pence, I mean, they'll be set up for the double play, but we got a really good hitter behind him. Ball hit high to the right side. But this will get into the seats foul. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times? Full in a count. Run? Now a swing and a ball chop. Foul you keep right fighting, Hunter Pence. I believe in the Hunter Pence. I love how full 
these Giants games are. Our fans have been amazing this year, coming out in droves. And he walks them. That'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3 2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. That's right, bring in the power of Brandon Bell. 0 for 2 today, he did walk. He's hitting 292, and he's got some decent power. Look at that, the fans are on their feet. Better than standing on my feet. First pitch of the at bat. Brandon Belt is at the plate as he watches ball one. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. Why are kids wearing, like, kids winter or like fall clothes? It's July. And that's in there for his strike one and one. That's all right, Brandon Belt. Just wait for the one to belt. <laughs> you probably heard that all the time, mostly from Tug Dick. Or other people growing up. Not that he knew Tug did growing up. Oh, no. He hit right into the double play, didn't he? Son of a butt. Thanks for screwing up my triple, Brandon Bell. Tied ball game after eight. That is That was total choke by the team. Bay Bridge and at the other end, the city by the bay as we continue tonight's ball game from at and And the Padres beat us. But it's awfully hard Fuck. to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it. We should have won this. Our team did not performance. come through. Left so guy stranded. Tug Dick a little frustrated. Well, I don't know why there's going to be Dick thrusting in the outfield. Out whatever. <laughs> Took to get a good game two for four with a single and a triple. The only other guy on our team that had more than one hit was Abraham Correa. And the important thing is we had as many hits as them. This our team left guys stranded. Talk about frustrating. Let's play another one. We want to win the series. We are tied at one apiece in the series. I think so. Math is hard. I can't count to two. We are almost at 60 wins. So do we get to 60 wins or 40 losses first? This game will decide. Why are you guys wearing, like, winter coats in July? Scott Casimir. Is on the mound for the Giants in this one. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, when I look at his pitching line, the thing I look at is his whip. Casimir has been pitching better than anyone else, I think, on our team this year. Good ERA, really good record. If he gets a big break early on, he may run away with it, hold on to the lead, and win this game. Man, that guy's hitting terrible on the road. He's like the polar opposite of Tug Dick. As you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Maybe misses his mama. It's all right to care about your family. <laughs> Top of the first, zero outs. Thomas the Tank Engine and Fred Knockoffs. Tug Dick's got this. He's got it one away. And here's a chance to look at the starting nine for the visiting San I would imagine on Tug Dick's own um, highlight. Oh look, they only got only got two guys hitting over 300. The seven and eight hitters. What's that say about the fact they're hitting seven and eight? Schaefer's having a good year. I would think a lot of Tug Dick's self-made highlight video is him standing by the trains, uh, train pictures in left field. Tied ball game, bottom of the first. Into the windup and the pitch. Fastball and he swings through it. That was a nasty line. pitch to Harold swing at. Padres team as they take the field here tonight. They come in looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. Yeah, Matt, this has been a fun series. These two teams are evenly. That old man is like, why am I here? Why am I still alive? I hate life. Maybe if I clap. And set up behind. Why are you clapping, Um? Keller, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You admire the dick. Nice right up the right middle, there. bitch. Tug Dick likes to be classy like that. <laughs> we'll see if it comes into play. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back up the middle. Hard. I think he might have been trying to take the pitcher out. Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence and Tug Dick hit both better on the road than at home. How odd that is. Tug Dick hitting, or I'm sorry, Hunter Pence hitting 267. Come on, dude. You're a better hitter than that. 
Bottom of the first, only one out. This ball will be chopped foul. I don't know, maybe we should try and steal, because the, as we've seen before, the catcher for the Padres does not have a very strong arm. And he'll snap one over to first, and he just manages to get his hand in. Whoa. And another snap throw to the bag, and he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Well, it's no secret what's going on right here. Everybody knows what's going on. Second. And look out, is that one well, it doesn't matter. He beamed the pitcher or hitter. He didn't beam himself. He beamed 400 pence. Oh, in the butt. Wood gives it to him in the butt. Awkward. Look at that old man on the right. He's like, how could he give him in the butt? I wanted to give it to him in the butt. Astrobo Cabrera coming up. Another guy. What's with our team? Our team is so much better on the road than at home. That's not a problem. I'm not complaining. It's just odd. We're going to try and set up a double steal. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, hopefully we weren't too greedy. It works. It was not a good throw. If it had been a good throw, we would have been out easy. But it was a bad throw in the dirt right in front of the plate. Squared that one up just a little late. Hunter Pence finally gets the steal. Runners on second and third. Only one out. Bottom of the first. Come on, Astrubo Cabrera. It'd be awesome to get an early lead. They must suffer for what they did to us last game. Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Three and one now. You can bet he's they might walk him. Right now. Seems kind of early to be pitching to around a guy, a but guess we'll find out. To Total hitters count right here. Right here. I would think he's got the green light. He's got to have the green light three and one. He walks him. And he looks at one that misses ball four, so that'll load him up, but at least the double play is in order here with one away. And don't forget, he gave up a long ball earlier in this inning. We were so making him throw a ton of pitches early in the game right here. He got him to three and one. Abraham Correa coming up five for six in this series. He has been destroying the Padres. Bases loaded. Only one out. Back toward the mound. This Don't throw it home, you ass log. <laughs> well, he hits into a weird kind of double play. Unfortunately, we got nothing out of that. That was just a bad hit. Right to the pitcher. Not a double play you see very often. They did a good job, I guess, walking the bases. Loaded. What a disappointment we did not get more out of that. Give me your damn oranges, Valencia. Runner on first, top of the second, tied ball game. I have a lot of anger in my soul right now that the team shat the bed. Now a flare out to left center. Before. On the move. He can't get there as it falls in. That's right. That's why we got Jay to back him up. Jay won't be in time. He's in there at third bank. Here's Yonder Alonso. Still a tied ball in game top of the third. That means they didn't do anything with that runner on the third. Thank God. It does help we probably have our best pitcher on the mound. Well, our best starting pitcher. Our best pitcher might actually be our closer. Staying alive. The belt Dick Pence coming up. Wait, why is Belt hitting ahead of us in the lineup? Tug Dick one for one. I believe that's Brandon Belt to run first, then. Not positive. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. No oh man, high fastballs are always a little too tempting. Really be an effective pitch for a guy that has a lot of pop. They're up there looking for a fastball up in the zone, so 
if you can place it a little above it, they have a hard time getting the barrel up there. Just a ah, damn, Knuckle Curve! Down 0-2 quickly. Screw you! <laughs> Where's the finger? I would say finger him button? I meant flip him <laughs> off. That's two different things. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Fagan uh, to his not much of anything out there. Sorry, Belt. I tried, one. man. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think. Ready now. Danny Valencia. He singled his last Third time up. Fourth inning of a two We're up. One Hell yeah, two to one. Go Giants. Top of the fourth. A oh shit. Help me corner. train, friends! Help me! Oh thank god. He it helps that the wind was probably blowing in a little bit. Padres down in order. They're down two one. Well, I was actually blowing more from right to left, looking at the flags. Usually it's blowing in from the bay. Doug Dick, one for two. Once again. Bottom of the fifth. We do have a one-run lead. Two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Damn you and your knuckle curve. And boy, big problems here to start this at -bat. That was a perfect <laughs> swing. <laughs> Outstanding. That's what they teach you. The hitting coach teaches us. Now a drive out to the gap in Come on, get over there into the alley. Running hard, he's digging for second. Arms pumping, he's hustling for third. And he'll make it into third. Oh, he might have made it home. It would have been too close to risk, though. Especially in a close game like this. Nice, easy triple, though. Hit it right over to the triple alley. Some guys were on base. They've left a lot of guys out there in this one. We'll see if his teammate can bring him home. Easy stand-up triple. Hooking Hunter Pence up with some more RBI opportunities. Like barreled action now in the San Diego right bullpen fielder. as they get a lefty and a right-hander up the throw. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Yeah, he got hit in the butt last time. Well, he was that ground-out victim last time. He got in the booty. <laughs> Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this. Well, I don't blame him. I, I couldn't hit a knuckle so curve anyway. Those things are hard to deal with. Is Tug Dick becoming nicer as he gets older? And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball. I think part of it is having someone behind us. Hunter Pence unfortunately no struck out there, the but you know having guys behind us in Belt and Pence. Not that Belt's hitting behind us in this game. It makes a big difference when you have guys that actually accomplish stuff. Digging in. Oh shit! We're down four to two. We better not lose this series to the damn Padres. Tug Dick has had a good game, and the team is just not. Playing as well as him. He's gonna have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So Come on, team! Three runs on three hits you want these the jerks from no San Diego game. beat you? Trying to pick things up where we left off. Tug Dick. Yeah, Tug Dick. Two for three. Away, it feels like this we got runners on second and third. Potential tying run at second. Two outs though. We've got to get a hit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty. It's very possible though. They will not give him anything to hit. I would think they would walk him. The one and zero delivery. And this is down at Neal. Yeah, that was a little low. Foul at home plate. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Up high. Yeah, I think if we're just patient here, strong chance. I can't guarantee you, but strong chance they're just going to give us first. I would think you'd want to set that up so there's a play at any play. Inside you asshole. He's lucky that one didn't get him. Just doing an intentional walk. All right, three and one. Right there. You have to back hitters away Especially with how hot Tug Dick has been at the plate. Why is everyone wearing winter clothes here in July? With how hot Tug Dick has been at the plate, you would think they'd walk in. 
Here's the 3-1. Yep. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. And this is the right move here with first base open. Take the bat out of this guy's hands every single time. Yeah, it, I agree. It's the smart move, and it creates a play at any plate, and it brings up Hunter Pence, who has been struggling a little bit of late. Still, he, you know, the only other guy I'd rather have at the plate right now is Buster Posey. Hunter Pence is not a bad choice, even if he's been a little cold of late. Takes a knee-high fastball. Clearly. This is a tough situation. To you know he's got to throw him something to hit. Because if he walks in a run, it's only a one-run game. Come on, Hunter Pence. This is our opportunity. Don't leave me stranded. That would be clutch. The dick needs to get home. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. I wish they would have been a little more wild. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And this will find the seats uh, behind two strikes. the dugout. Looking Come on, Hunter Pence, strike. be the hero. Here's the one, two. Curveball that time, not even close. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it already a couple of times, so it's not going to surprise him anymore. I would love a grand slam right now. Here's the pitch. Full count. And a curveball that time that broke too low. It'd be hilarious if they walked in a run too. I'll take that. <laughs> as long as we can get a run and start to cut that lead down. We're running out of innings. What about turning babies loose? Where are their babies? They shouldn't be on the field to play. They're too young. It's up for the three two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Big spot. All right, full count. We go on the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. And here's the tag, and he is dead in the water trying to steal home there. That didn't work. Why he didn't steal home? He struck out. What? He struck out and got tagged. Or there was a guy in first or whatever. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Shit. Top of the ninth. I can't believe the Padres might actually beat us in this series. Yasmani Grandal. Fly ball into straightaway left. Dick moves over. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. That really sucks, though, that Hunter Pence choked. He's choked a little bit too much of late. Top of the ninth, Ray Schaefer. Padres' best hitter, though he's hitting the number seven spot, I think. At the plate. This one's flared out toward Dick left. Power. Dick coming on. Excellent. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Come on. Come on, Giants. We need two runs. Got to quit leaving people stranded. Don't call the Giants for a ride. They're not going to show up and pick you up. They'll leave you stranded. And we lose to the Padres again. We lost the series to the Padres. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. Damn you, Padres! Final score tonight: Alex Wood earns his fifth winner of the year. Rodney Ramirez wraps it up for the save, his 16th of the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plesac, and the rest of our crew. Well, that is a frustrating game, frustrating series actually. Now yeah, you can see the teams frustrated. Unfortunately, Casimir gets his fourth loss for the year. And Wood for the Padres gets his first win. Or fifth win, not first. Tug Dick, man, he played a hell of a game. Wait, was that the second or third game in the series? Was it a four-game series? Tug Dick had a good game. He was uh, two for three. Well, everybody, that's the end of this episode. I'll see you all next time when... Are we actually playing the Padres again? And it would appear we'll have a... Oh, we are. We'll, we'll do it in this episode. In Apparently, Tug Dick is pinch hitting. This episode will be a little long. It already was, but... We are down three to zip. This is going to be Tug Dick's only at bat in this one. Because he's pinch hitting. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. That he's like, nah, that ain't my pitch, son. There to begin play. Wind blowing in from the bay. 28 RBIs.
Looks like double barreled action now in the San Diego. Can we get that one? Up to throw. Oh, oh goodbye. Almost a little too late on it. Down. It's into Cove. Hey, we hit it into the bay. <laughs> Within the cove. That is awesome. This is where a splash counter should go up to 63 or whatever, but. How about that for pinch hitting? What's up, bro? Dickalicious. <laughs> well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole Hopefully it rallies the team. And Bochi, maybe you should have Tug Dick start in this game. <laughs> He's been hitting very well after the first game of the series. George Contos is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. And we won! Tug Dick did rally the team, and they're going to interview him. Now, like, what do you do? He's like, well, we were shit in the bed, so I thought, let's turn it around. Pinch hitter for life. What's up, outfield? What, what's guy? What's guys? Yeah, we won together. Hell yeah. They give me shit. Sorry. Well, that was a good game. Yeah, it was. Thank God the team rallied around him after that. We're going to run to the clubhouse. I don't know if Boshi's going to have anything to say to us. I would think at this point now, though, because Tug Dick was a pinch hitter for so long, I don't think he gets nervous pinch hitting. Where in prior years, he might be like, oh, the heat is on. It's a clutch situation. I was like, yeah, I pinched it a lot. Whatever. No big deal, bro. I kind of want to look at the standings, too. Oh, wait, they're going to give us an item. I don't really care about that. As it tries to connect to Sony's service. There we go. <laughs> a player is called to question by his manager on his base running of late. What? Uh, Tug, my attention's been drawn to your base stealing frequency. I sure don't remember issuing any steal signals that many times. Or giving you a permanent green light, did I? You did give me a permanent green light at the beginning of the year! I have been the best player. Tug Dick's been the best player over the last, even over the Padres series. The best offensive player. And you come in to complain? Are you serious? I've been killing him, Skip. Having had a little fun with the young speedster, the manager strikes a jovial tone. <laughs> Just messing with you, Tug. Good gracious, your numbers are ridiculous. I'm going to beat you to death, old man. I got jets. I got to use them. I'm like a, I'm like a 747. I'm the freaking Concord of the baseball field. He checks that the player understands what a green light means, and doesn't mean. Uh, now you understand you gotta have situational awareness, right? How so? I'm Tug Dick. If I'm on the situation, I'm aware of it. Even the best bag snatchers need to know when to exercise Bag restraint. snatchers. Uh, you can't be risking making out a, la a last out at third or getting picked off when we need multiple runs late in the game. Can I count on you to be smart about it? I got a quick mind too, sir. Have you seen it, dumbass? What was I mean, coach ass? And then directs him to exercise it immediately. Okay, then do what you want to do. You're a dangerous weapon out there. Hell yeah, I am. Put me back on the bench. Hitting better than anyone else on the team. Hitting 381. I hate <laughs> Bochi, you got an attitude problem. We're four games up on the Diamondbacks. Two uh, cards are two and a half up on the Reds. Braves are game up on the Mets. Mariners are two games up on the Rangers. White Sox still three games up on the Tigers. Come on, Tigers. Rays eight and a half games up on the Red Sox. Uh, let's go look at league leaders. We may not be on these lists yet. We still might not have as many enough at bats to be on the list. Cause, yeah, because we should be number one for batting average. But because we missed so many at bats, we're not on there. Because we're hitting 380. Yeah, you're not going to see Tug Dick then on for a lot of those because of that. We will be on there for steals, though. Oh, Tug Dick is on there. Tied for fifth for triples. And, uh, oh, home runs isn't what I want. You look at that, though. Buster Posey has hit 21. He's been lighting it up this year. RBIs, Hunter Pence, number three. Brendan Belt, number six. Buster Posey tied for six. Three guys there on RBIs. Our team's been producing... 
and the stolen base is 74. 74 stolen bases, and Bochi is complaining. I swear. Damn shit fuck. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out.